Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Um, I'm just going back now to some of my old um, you know, recordings, and um, I'm just introducing or you know showing alternative method of integration by parts, which is called the DI method. And I'm going to add this to my you know older kind of videos, so as links uh, to certain questions. So in, in question number five, part B, okay, um, we have a question where we have to integrate this and you need to use integration by parts and there's a method that makes life very easy called the DI method which I'm going to show you how to use so I'm going to put, put this method here so you write D and I okay so D is um, you know like the column which we're going to write the thing that needs to be differentiated in our integration by parts and I is the thing which we need to be integrated so if you look at the two, um, you know, the two functions that are multiplied by each other, you have x and e to the power of half x. Now you've got to think about which one of them has to be differentiated, which has to be integrated. The one that breaks down easily, the general rule, is going to be something which is going to be differentiated. So here I'm going to choose the x in place of the d, and e to the power of half x in place of the i. So I'm going to differentiate this. If it gets to zero, I'll stop at zero. So if I differentiate x, I'm going to get one. If I differentiate one, I get zero. So I'm going to stop there. I'm going to differentiate this as well, integrate this now, and until I get to the same level as a zero. So if I integrate e to the power of half x, you have to leave it as it is first. So it stays e to the power of half x. But then you divide by the differential what's inside the function. So you're going to divide by a half. Because if you differentiate, so you're dividing by half because you're integrating this thing. Um, and that means you have to multiply by 2. Because something divided by half is the same thing multiplied by 2. That's going to give me 2e to the power of a half x. And if I integrate it another time, I'm going to get 2e to the power of a half x. Stays the same. Again, divided by a half, which will be like, like multiplied by 2. So I'll end up with 4e to the power of a half x. All right? Now, when we are doing integration by parts, we write a plus on the first line, then a minus, and then a plus. You keep alternating until you get to that zero. And, you know, when you have something like this, you're going to just basically multiply across. Okay, so x times 2 e to the power of half x. So you can say the integral of x times e to the power of uh, half x with respect to x is going to be equal to x times 2e to the power of a half x and then minus this times that which is 1 times 4e to the power of a half x okay and then the rest is going to be zero so you just put because it's an indefinite one you put plus c at the end so simplifying that you'll get 2xe to the power of a half x minus 4e to the power of a half x plus c okay so that's an alternative way of doing part b it's a very easy one actually this one but i'm just going through all of my previous videos and i'm adding this little addition to make sure that people who like the di method you know feel comfortable and you know i personally prefer it myself now in the days when i made this video i didn't really know about this di method okay and um so that's why i'm adding it now okay so you know, the rest of the video, I will link you back to that at the end of this. Thank you for watching and you can carry on with the rest of the video, um, which will be linked. Okay, so um, as I said, you know, other questions which deal with the DI method, you will find um, basically this paper that I've took this, that, that I've taken this question from. You can go back to the paper by the playlist for that paper by clicking on this link. If you want to go back to this particular question, question five that I was answering um, and that uh, this you know little link took you away from, you can go back to that same video over here. And you can see a playlist over here which will tell you will take you to lots of different examples of the DI method for integration. Okay, so all the different times I've gone through all my old videos or made new questions using the DI method, you'll find a video uh, a playlist here showing you all the different types that you can get. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching. See you soon.